so this is not good. Greetings Earth Angels, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. This is her time continuum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. However, if this is your first time here, welcome and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I like to eat food that nourishes my mind, body, and soul. So filming these videos are always exciting for me and I love sharing healthy meals together. Now, nourishing our first temple, which is the body, in turn nourishes the spirit, helping us to attain our own unique inner Zen. There is such a divine connection between spirituality and food, so eating whole foods from nature calms your body and your mind so that you can be conscious and present in life. Now the first meal, as we know, we're breaking fast. I'm just starting off my day this day with some fresh fruit. I'm having figs, cherries, coconut water with papaya. I initially was going to have honeydew, but it tasted pretty jelly and it was not okay to eat so this is not good I'm just gonna find something else to eat with the cherries and the figs and I'm just gonna have some coconut water and papaya puree um, Oh my gosh. Okay, I hope I don't spill this. Mm. Mm. I just want to know what you're thinking, what I also was able to brew up some tea. The herbs that I had this ascension were very, very powerful. I had red raspberry, red clover, chamomile, sasaparilla, which is very, very good for iron. So I am hungry as soon as I wake up. I've said this in previous videos due to the fact that I do breastfeed. So it is very important that I eat intentionally um, while still enjoying my cravings here and there. So now it is snack time. <laughs> okay, so it's snack time now. I usually make something quick to eat, like avocado toast, which you can see in this video, with some quick grape tomatoes. It's my go to. I'm also using 100% organic spelt bread with no yeast or artificial chemicals. So, yeah, I'm just gonna create this magnificent, easy, sufficient meal.
It is lunchtime now. This meal was actually very exciting to make. I was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Michelle Choi. I'll link her channel in the description below. Um, but yeah, I created a plant-based version of what she made. It's a nori sandwich. I'm going to be prepping cucumbers, tomatoes, cleaning quinoa, with some very, very, very yummy olives, some homemade falafels that I made that I also used to make for the baby as well. Avocado is a staple in all of my meals along with homemade tahini sauce with fresh squeezed key lime. It makes it taste like sour cream and onion in the tahini sauce. As I'm on the voiceovers now, I'm like, my mouth is like getting moist thinking about it, <laughs> but yeah. Always make sure to clean your quinoa before serving. I'm using all spring water. I'm just going to rinse it off and then apply it to the pot. Let it come to a boil and then bring it down to low. Very, 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 very simple. Quick, easy, and healthy meals. Just checking back into the vlog with you angels if you're still here with me at this point of the video I appreciate you do not forget to like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments some of the healthy meals you have been recreating recently and yes it's very important that we take care of our health and what we consume on a daily basis I literally eat avocado with every meal, every single day. It's the healthiest fat ever.
So this was my first time making the nori sandwiches. I had to prep and cut all the vegetables so that they can fit inside of the wrap. It took me a minute, but like I said, it was well worth the wait. This will be a go-to meal that I will be recreating and you will see this more than once and it will probably be in more of my following what I eat in a day videos. just added some tahini to the corner to close up the seaweed sandwiches cucumbers olives tomatoes and I put some tahini sauce and I made some homemade falafels I ate about two of these as you can see there's three on the screen I gave one of them to my mate he enjoyed them and they are ready to eat. It took a minute for me to make these, as you can see in all the prep footage, but it was well worth the wait. Eating leftovers while cooking dinner is very, very, very essential. It happens occasionally. meal of the day I made kamut pasta with tomatoes and again my favorite tahini sauce topped with avocado red pepper and green onions uh, I have been making this meal more than a couple times a week because it's very quick to make and it's so yummy and filling I love noodles especially when I was able to find a more healthier um, alternative that has no yeast in it 
and with this meal I like to even add a little extra water in it because it gives it like more of like a ramen or like a soup vibe so yeah sometimes I'll add a little extra water and sometimes I'll just have it strictly like noodles and pasta and maybe in the next video I'll make it with fresh crushed tomatoes I could possibly do that in the next what I eat in a day video The pasta is almost ready. I am adding tomatoes and topping it off with some more herbs and seasonings. This meal was cooked with no oil and I like to cook all my meals with no oil because it's healthier and it's really not necessary to cook oil in all of your meals. Quick, easy filling and it always hits the spot. You can never go wrong with pasta, especially when it is Kamut pasta. And again, you can never go wrong with adding fresh avocado to your meal. I'm so thankful for this nourishment that I am about to receive. And again, more and more avocado. I probably eat about one to two avocados every day, every single day. I appreciate you spending your energy here with me if you're still here with me at this point in the video i will make another video on what i eat in a day with another set of meals that my taste buds have been enjoying i hope this inspires you to want to eat healthy do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the bell notification so you do not miss out when i post again and see you in your dreams beautiful souls and i'll see you again next week peace and blessings thank you so much